Hello everyone, I'm Mr. Mokalover, and thank you for joining me here, not in Hearts of Iron 4, but in Victoria 2. One of the other strategy games made by Paradox, quite literally, a decade ago at the time of this recording. That's insane, but, so we started in 1836 in a good time. Well, maybe not a good time for Japan, they're considered a primitive nation. They have a population of 7, or a little over 7 million mm, eligible manpower, which is kind of weird. This is just, you know... Core culture male population. Really, our entire population of Japan in the beginning, of course, is 28 million. So, this is Victoria 2. This is a game that I don't fully understand that well, but if you do, let me know in the comments below about directions I should take, things I should know, things I should not do. Anyways, so we're gonna just right off the back take an early Meiji restoration. Japan is traditionally considered to have been founded by Emperor Jimu in 660 BC, and while the imperial lineage was still considered unbroken since, in, since then, the imperial office had throughout the Edo period been reduced to a revered and respected but ultimately politically powerless institution. By embracing a restoration of imperial rule along with a program of swift industrial modernization, constitutionalism, and economic freedom, Japan might be able to break the fetters placed upon her by the imp impositions of the Western world, which we get more research points for more technology stuff eventually, but we really need to westernize to become like European powers. More prestige, which is the star in the upper left corner, and research bonus basically until the end of the game, which we piss off some people that are conservative, some reactionary, just a little bit of liberals, and then we get land reform. Very cool. Uh, early on, I've just seen other people do this, so I'm going to go with clergymen, thank you. I think we need like 2%, 3%, maybe 4% of these guys. So, we're considered a primitive nation. That's probably not good, and I'm going to do that. Uh, so we need to westernize, become like the European powers to get to these technologies, which makes us better than everyone else, especially when you can get some, uh, <clears throat> get, get, get pretty gassy, I'll say. Anyways, we can do politics. I've seen other people do this, and plant economy, I don't think it's too bad. I really don't know. But I like state capitalism. You can do more with it, I think. I don't know. We'll see what happens. Support faction. It'll piss off a couple people. Some people don't like that. Military stuff. Build an army. We're going to build, like, two of you guys. Uh, trade. Trade is probably the most complicated thing for people. I don't know. Maybe maybe, maybe not. They just see a bunch of numbers, a bunch of icons. They're like, oh my god, what do I do here? I'm like, I don't know. Ask someone who knows. Not me. So, I'm going to go ahead and, like, buy a bunch of this stuff. <sighs> Canned goods. That'll be important, too. Because I'm going to make a lot of divisions early on. Because we want to get to war as fast as possible. So we need not steamer convoys. Those are very expensive. But clipper convoys, which I've already confirmed the trade. And you guys come down here. Nagasaki, you're going to take all the shippies. And Miza Miyazaki. Yeah. You're going to take all the boys. So, uh, what are we doing? What are we doing? Japan. Ah, budget. Ah, this game that everyone loves to talk about. Taxing the poor people. But you know what? There's more people than just poor people. You can tax the middle class and the rich people. It's awesome. Tax everyone equally. Administrative class costs, whatever, military spending, we can go to lower probably for... Uh, keep in the middle, because people might want to... Uh, the pops, the population might want to become... Or get into the higher class, middle class, or something like that. Tariffs, honestly, when I was growing up trying to play this game, I had no idea what tariffs were. And even after playing this game... I didn't understand it until I got older. So, if you don't understand what tariffs are, that's totally okay. It just gives you more money for now. Let's just put it like that. Uh, yeah. So, we have Gold Rushing Kobe, a dried up old traveler, has returned from the wilderness. When given a whiskey, he says with a hoarse voice, Gold! I have found gold a mountain of gold, which would get more life rating, which does something, and immigrant attractions, which sounds pretty explanatory. Also, he probably didn't say this in English, he probably said this in Japanese, but probably. I could be wrong about that. Oh. Building that stuff. Uh, we want to build a navy. That's why I want those clipper ships, clipper transports. So, just give... We have one already, one ship. I want at least 11, and then builds... There you go. I want some frigates, just in case the Chinese, Japanese navy... Japan, no, no, no. Not the Japanese. The Korean navy, or the Chinese navy, because I want to go Korea as fast as possible. I think that'd be fun. We want to make sure we can make these as much as possible. Now, we're a... What they call a primitive nation. Um, we can't really do much research. But, that also means we don't get first dibs on the goods produced by, like, you know, European powers, America, you know, things like that, or even civilized nations. So it's really important to make sure we build this as fast as possible, kind of. 
Also, if you want to do more diplomacy stuff, you need diplomatic points. Outbreak of tuberculosis. Uh, one of the most common killers in the 19th century was tuberculosis, an infectious disease in humans that usually targets the lungs, known today to be caused by various strains of mycobacteria. The historical explanations for TB range from vampirism to imbalances in the cardinal fluids. Known since ancient times and first described as a contagious disease by Ave Avicenna in 1020, typical symptoms of the disease include chronic cough, fever, and expulsion of blood-tinged phlegm. Plum. In the 19th century, the disease was sometimes romanticized as several famous authors and poets of the era were known sufferers. Ah, oh, good, we get less population. Yeah, look at this militancy. Hey, you know, disease time, whatever, awesome. Be positive about it. That's what we'll say. Be positive. Ah, oh, more ships. Give me those ships. Oh, I need a leader. Ah, uh, oh, look, and this is important. So, we can enact, enact reforms in this game, which we're trying to westernize, so you have to get up to 100%. We're at 15% right now. But to go to war early, we go and need infantry, especially go to war with China. So, and other there are other types of reforms that we'll need to uh, go over later. And I'll let you know. Obviously, this is just vanilla Victoria 2, no mods, no HPM, no F, no HFM, just because I don't know it that well. I really don't. And this game also introduces newspapers or has newspapers that you can read about what's going on. War between Bolivia and Argentina. Hanoverian research complete. A penal colony. Ooh. Democracy in America. Alex de Tocqueville. I never know how to say his last name. Whatever. So what we want is imported weapons. This is my boomstick. Which means you get more research points, which we want when conquering, like Korea. More civilization progress, which is good for westernization. And more land unit defense, which pisses off some of the conservatives, reactionaries, and liberals. We get flintlock technologies. Or flintlock technology, which... It's right here. So now we can make infantry. Great. I love it. Give me all your infantry. Make one more of these, but then just like... There you go. I want as many boys coming out as fast as possible. And there goes our budget. Ooh. That's just, that's a little depressing. Alright. We're making more ships. If you might be able to hear the sound in the background. Making more ships. I will raise this up a little bit higher. As time goes on, just so that I can get more guys... Oh, look! Spending money on the, on the military, so they'll be promote to the officer corps, as well as just, you know, being soldiers in general. Because I really wanted to go to Korea. We want at least... I want three armies. Three armies of 30,000 soldiers each. Nine infantry, one cavalry. I've seen people do this before. I'm just going to stick along with this, just because I think it's optimal. Yeah, let's say optimal. Come on, keep making soldiers. That's great. Make more ships. That's also awesome, awesome, awesome. You're not Japan unless you have a big army, right? Ah, uh, 70,000 pounds. We're using pounds in this game because the UK is a very big boy. China's a massive boy, and that's what we're going to focus on most of this campaign, I think. A lot of China. I'm going to try to take out Brunei, probably. Maybe Dai Nam. I mean, they... Oh, Brunei's independent. You guys are allied with China. Yeah, the United Kingdom... Pretty big. Uh, they shouldn't fall out of great power status, which is, you know, up here. Oh, Ottoman Empire. I forgot about you guys. <sighs> Prussia. Prussia. Yes. Yes. Good stuff. Uh, ooh, what are you guys doing? Um, let's plop one of you guys out, because when we get to Korea, their supply isn't great, I'll say, you know? Korea is also primitive, just like us, but hey, we got a really good uh, literacy rate, so. Love it! Oh, good, we got 12 ships. That's awesome. Ah, oh, the coronation of Queen Victoria! No one cares about that. At least in this part of Asia. Let's see, we got a horse. Very good, very good, very good, and boom! I'll go put you in Yamaguchi. For now, that'll be good. Uh, oh yeah, you just hurt a little bit because of attrition, that's all. Um, do we not have any more cavalry? I'm going to need at least one. Let's make two. That'll be good. Very good. Okay, so it's 1838. We've got three armies, basically. And let's go ahead and start justifying on Korea. So, conquest. Now, I've seen other guides do this. When you're doing war justifications at 0%, if you're caught, like, immediately, because you can get caught for trying to justify other people, you will take the full amount of infamy. And you don't want to go over 25 infamy, or people will start killing you, or want to kill you. Probably will kill you. 
So the percentage that you have for your wart suffocation done tells you uh, how much infamy, infamy you're going to take. I mean, obviously, if you take no penalty, that's good. That's really flipping good. That won't happen for us. Uh, I really don't know what the optimal number is. I mean, obviously, none is good. Uh, that's not good. Nagoya, let's go ahead and start raising this up a little bit more. We can lower... Uh, I want to keep this high as possible. Wine? Spending a... Oh, that hurt our budget. I don't like seeing red. I don't know, just do that a little bit. Good. A mixed one is okay. Okay, that's actually really good. 8.2. That's actually really good for us. Holy cow. You know what? Deal with the Korean menace. Yes, deal with the Korean menace. The menacing. Oh, we have a frigate. Ah, oh, yes. Protect 12 clipper ships. Ah, and we go to war immediately. So, you guys are going to come here. we got almost four armies. I'm going to keep one army, hopefully, just in Japan to do, you know, rebel maintenance, I guess we'll call it. Awesome. Uh, that's okay for now. we got to keep an eye on that. Ooh, and we need to keep this open because we just got the Cassius Bella against Korea this last for an entire year. So, we need to go to war with Korea before December 2nd or December 3rd, 19 1839. So I gotta remind myself. Because, I'm not going to war yet, just because when you're at war, infamy drops way slower. But right now we get down by 0.1 a month, which isn't bad. Could be better, of course, but you know, whatever. Uh, go ahead and combine you two. We have four armies ready to go. Awesome. Alright. The economy, eh, it, it, it is what it is, you know? It is what it is. It's, it's already April. Awesome. I always click on these newspapers because I hate seeing newspapers that I haven't read yet. Uh, very good, very good. What is this? Oh. Oh, crud. Did I not do this? Oh, I put you guys here. Okay. I wonder where I put my uh, national focus. 2.3%. Let's get up to 3% first. Economy. I want to do see a little bit more action there. Uh, I got more ships coming out. That's okay. You guys can do that. Actually, no. Don't do that. You guys come over here. Kind of stay home for now. Oh, and here we go. Foreign training schools. Um, land organization. Well, we want to get ports for imported ships. We need 6680, which we're pretty close. I'm going to wait for foreign training methods. And let's get one more month. There we go. Let's go ahead and go to war then. Cool. I mean, obviously, foreign training methods would give you, like, more organization, which is great. But, uh... I'm going to wait on that. Let them get to Kwangju first. And you guys come to Busan. We're going to start sieging the area down. The Chinese have left their ports. And they are going somewhere. Uh, uh, the Koreans are sieging down the area over here. Okay, then. Good, we got that. Taijun's next. You guys come to Cheju. Uh-oh. Oh, no. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. That's not good. They found me. Uh, we, did we sink a ship? Oh boy, that's not good. Oh, we have no commander. Oh, we have minus two. Oh, that's not good. Oh boy. Oh, they're disengaged, disengaged. We're retreating. If we can... Oh, so we lost, but we did sink a ship. That's not bad. Oh, we lost both ships. Oh, that's not good. Uh, let's see. Like I said, I'm not an expert at this. Oh, you know what? Actually, you should probably come down here. Just help. Just destroy them. Okay, they're destroyed. Do that as possible. Come over there. You guys come over there next. If they siege that down, that's kind of okay with me. I don't really care. Oh, they have two ships there. That's why. Mm. We can build two more. They can siege these places down. It's going to take them forever to, though. Which is, you know, whatever. Uh, you know what? You want boys there? We'll give you boys. Oh, look. We lost 6,600. They lost 28,000. Mmm. I love it. Uh, they're making a lot of ships. Holy cow. Ah, uh, good. Wonju. Very nice, very nice. Ah, flintlock rifle armaments. We get more attack. It does cost us a little bit more supply, but that's okay. 
Kai Song. Oh, look at that. Oh, the budget. Oh, my goodness, the budget. Uh, let's go and grab naval schools. We want imported ships so we can make ports, so we can repair our ships. That'll be good. Naval unit attack and defense. Thank you. And we need more money. So I'm going to do something here. I don't... This is not a good thing to do sometimes, you know, lowering our education. Uh, really not good, but what? Uh, it is what it is. I want to make at least... Okay, we're not even positive yet. That's not good. I want to keep looking at this. Oh, they almost have this siege down the model. Calling for the United States. They didn't even tell us where it is. At. Oh. Oh, yeah. We won a lot of occupations. Good. Just keep doing that. And you know what? I'm going to set you guys to do this. Um, I could disband them, but no. They have two ships here. I only have two as well. You know what? We're going to duke it out here. Because the other time, our guy didn't have that much... Uh, fleet. Alright, so what's happening here? We sunk? We sunk? Who? It's kind of hard to read, to be honest with you. So we have minus one, they have minus two. Uh, we're probably going to win. Oh! So we, they lost four ships, we lost none. That sounds pretty good to me, not going to lie. Cool, you guys come over here, you guys come over here. We're going to kill off all those guys over there. Get Pyongyang. Read that, but not really. And... Looking pretty good. And you guys are on. Just come on down here. And kill them off. Oh! Some Korean ships. Well, good luck, guys. I know you're probably pretty injured. Han Hoon. Chon Chon. Great. Chim Chek. And we border China now. Very good, very good. We got 8,000 versus these guys. That should be okay. Oh, look, more ships. Great! Chong Jin. Cool. That's okay. Still making loads of babies. I love it. Alright, you got, you got your guys. That's great. Oh, we can have a lot of more military units. Should probably make more. Uh, you are set to do that. That's good. Alright, so, all we need is that. And let's see, Korea. Can we have peace? Yes, they would accept this. And I've annexed Korea in about 18 minutes. Wow, holy cow. Not bad. And because of that, we just got a ton of research points. Ton of research points. Which I'm not sure what to do next. Army schools? Land starting experience? Eh. If I, want, I want to take out Brunei, I think, next. I think I'll take them out. Leadership, modifier, more research points. I mean, this is okay. Military construction. Post-Napoleonic thought, so you can make a fort. Uh, I mean, that's okay. Land organization. I'm thinking either administrative reforms or railroads. Well, let's get administrative reforms or efficiency just because I think that helps you with your money. Oh man, we still have a lot of research points left. That's so good. I love it. I love it. I love it. So here's the th here's the deal. We got to get more guys up here first, though. So Nagasaki, you need seven more infantry divisions right there. Make seven more guys. Just come to Nagasaki instead of Miyazaka. <gasps> we can make ports. Yes, yes. Now it costs us a lot to make. Actually, it doesn't cost us that much. Yeah, make ports everywhere. Who cares? We can always. Oh, we're already taxing people as much as we possibly can. Just we're gonna tax them more later if we can. Uh, let's see. Shizuka, Amori, Oimori, Nemuru. Uh, I'm probably putting these in the exact wrong locations. Pusan. Uh, you have bigger population. Oh, actually. Put you in Cheju. Nah, put you on the actual mainland. There you go. Taijan. And I'm going to keep an eye on the money because, ooh, that's not looking good. Oh, you just got a little bit more. Uh, that's looking okay. Ish. Ugh. Kind of scared with that. And, but we're still over with China, which I don't like. China, can you just go home, please? Let's see. 3%. Good. We're going to put, put you right there as well. China. China. So, forests, woods, gives you more, one more defense, which is kind of nice. Here is just plains, which doesn't give you any bonuses. Uh, I just gotta make sure you guys get healed up a little bit more first. That's important. Now, I believe, I could be wrong, but I believe that if we don't do anything for a while, China will just like say, Hey, we done. We ain't doing this anymore. Uh oh, oh, are they moving in? Oh, they're coming into here. Oh, that's not good. 
Oh, they got 55,000 guys. I need another army down here. Um, Take that off. Let you guys come right there. I gotta send this other guy right there. We're gonna intercept, hopefully, some Chinese ships. No? Ah, they retreated. Good, you should. Oh, look at all these divisions I got up here. A little worried about it. We want to let them in and then just strike them in the back. I'll put you guys here. If I move these guys out, are they going to send one group or just two groups out? That's a good question to ask. I don't really know. Go to Nagasaki for now. And yeah, we got rid of that one. Cool. And of course, we can do more stuff here. Ooh, industrialization sounds like fun. Mm, land organization. Research points when doing stuff. Foreign officer training. The leadership sounds good. Going to enact financial reform. More tax efficiency sounds good for me. Oh, we actually have a lot more money than I thought we did. Industrial stuff. Do we really need a cement factory right now? I want to say no. Water wheel. I want railroads. Let's farm more. And we get... Exp uh, yeah, railroads. I For some reason, I love railroads. I mean, I think they're pretty awesome. Once he moves in, I'm going to come just do a full... All right. No. I want them to come in one at a time. Good. And we're going to go do this. I'm going to move you up just in case. Look at... Whoa! What just happened? I lost 1,700. They lost 17,000. Also, it should be noted, I'm not at war with this part of China. This is Manchuria. So. Uh, let's do that again. Actually. Oh, we got nine diplomatic points. I've... Like, I watched other guides on people how they did this. You might want to always make sure you're okay with the UK. Maybe the French. I think we'll be okay with the US. They kind of like us. Yeah, they really kind of like us. And from my previous experience in Vicky 2, it's always good to keep friendly relations with the Germans. Who's trying to rebel? Korea. Korea, please. Please, Korea. Please, Korea. Oh, they're all, they're all coming in now. Good, go ahead and come in. You guys also come in as well. Oh, that's a slaughter. That's an absolute slaughter. 12,000. Oh my god, that's so amazing. Actually, let's double check the war score for now. Show wars. Conquest of Korea. No, we're only at three war score. We're going to have to kill more armies like this. And that's okay with me. Let them come on in. And... Swiper, no swiping. Thousands of men are just... 17,000. 17,000. That's amazing. Alright, so we are now at... 6 war score. Oh, do it again. And they're coming back for more. Okay, China. Oh, and you know what? Pyongyang, let's build you... <gasps> railroads. Railroads. Yes, railroads. Oh, wait, we can... Oh, hello. Who the heck are you? And I want to build a ports. Oh, wait. Oh, yeah, that's railroad. Are you, are you my, oh, yeah. Japanese Bunin Islands. Uh, this is our cap, oh, we have, oh, we have railroads here, oh. Oh, the technology just gives it to you automatic. oh, that's so nice. Um, control, left click, and I just lost 13,000 monies. Hello, China. Hello there. 12,000, dead. Now I'm thinking, oh, that's 60,000. Army of the Manchu, bordered yellow banner. Uh, would you like peace, man? We're 12 war score. I want to say I want to attack these guys. It's probably a bad idea. What if I had you guys go this way? Get a Jilin first. <gasps> Ooh. Maybe get some more educational reforms and stuff like that. Can we go in? Oh, hold on. Hold the phone. I can't see. Manchuria, you're in the way. Oh, god dang it. Oh, please tell me we're winning. Oh, no. Oh, no. That's not a good idea. That's not a good idea. Get some more guys in there. Okay, we won. We won. We suffered quite a few casualties, though, of course. Oh, but are we defending? Oh, God dang it. Come on. Okay, we won. We actually killed a lot more guys there, too. Oh, thank God. Our guys actually showed up. I'll let you guys come right there. Cool. More reforms. We can wait on that just a little bit. Scare them off. That'll be good. Uh, Can we peace out with you yet? <gasps> we can. Look at that. We're at white peace. We 
we're successful. So far, we've been successful playing as Japan. Now, I'm going to end the episode here because I want to hear from you guys. If you have experience with Victoria 2, please let me know in the comments below. What should I do next? Should I go to war with Brunei? I do not have a ton of experience with this, but I'm learning as I go. Should I go to war with Dai Nam? Uh, let's see. Cambodia is a puppet of... Hmm. Can't justify on puppets or substates. But I am going to continue to increase the infrastructure in all of our Japanese lands because roads are nice if they're proper. But anyways, guys, thank you very much for watching. If you liked today's episode, consider leaving a like. Subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link in the description below. And I will see you all tomorrow as we have more and more fun with Japan. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.